What's going on everybody? Only Mike here and I just wanted to bring you a short little thing of what I've been working on for Unreal Engine, the marketplace. Um, it's basically a generator pack that will run traps and lights and an elevator and I'm going to be adding a couple more traps and stuff to it and stuff's pretty easy to add to it. Um, it's all ran off two interfaces. Uh, one's an interaction interface, so basically when you press E, it runs this interface, and then the power interface is when you interact with the items um, themselves. So basically, like we got our generator here, it's got size box, it's got is on, uh, generator type, basically name, and um, an image that you'll see when you open the widget. So let's go in I'll show you guys what's going on yet yeah, there's a couple NPCs uh, one thing I was thinking about doing hold on I'll wait one thing I was thinking about doing with the AI the NPCs um, was basically hooking them up to a behavior tree before I put it on the marketplace I think that would be better and I think people would like that more if it was actually hooked up to the behavior tree instead of the way I have it right now because I'll just run it from a little blueprint from uh, each character uh, from one character actually and you can just swap out stuff very easily but anyways let's go here we open this and as you can see down here in this bottom corner you can hit one or two two will change the power level power level is how many uh, objects it will run so three so right now it'll only run three now there is no way to tell uh, at the moment which which objects will come on and which objects won't. So the elevator's not working. Let's see which one of these traps are working. Nope. This one. Nope. This one. Yep. So the rocket launcher's working. And as you can see, the rocket launcher will aim towards the characters. The same thing goes for the pistols. It'll aim towards the characters and then shoot. So basically what I'm trying to have it do is, is um, aim towards you. And then if you wanted to, you could add projectiles to it. I might even do that too for the bigger weapons like use a little line trace for the pistols but actually add a, a projectile to it so you know this thing might differ in price because I was thinking about you know five bucks to start off with but with everything I got in here I think if I put in behavior tree a couple more assets and um, uh, spawn projectile I think it'll be worth a little bit more and I think people will be happier with it anyways we come over here as we can see it's on but it's not taking any gas so we see it's at 22.8 and if I turn on this light again and we look it starts going down by 0.2 okay now if I was turn on this guy and we come over here you'll see it goes down by 0.4 now you can change the gas consumption by each uh, individual item that is being used but here let's go here let's turn it off okay uh, there we go power level 10 let's turn it on and let's come over here here's our elevator it'll go up and it'll only go up to a certain distance and then it will come back down and then once it goes down once it hits the ground it'll go back up so here we go now we're going back down and I thought that was pretty cool you know uh, people could add this into their game uh, they could have their own power source um, have it to where and it started going back up again Let's see did it yes. so you know I think people would like that people can add that to their game um, they could just make it to where they have to have gas um, to be able to do anything with it and everything is changeable 
So like this one, I have, as you can see here, self-targeting pistol trap. So if I was to turn it on, it will target me. Now this trap targets everyone. Now I just put this camera shake in just as a, um, basically I'm, I'm getting attacked, you know, because as you can see the pistol, it's effect is right there but as this rocket trap the effect spawns on the person because it's hitting them so you can change that all to right in uh, like when you spawn them in or if you want to have a character spawn them in you can change all that also so like uh, here on the rocket trap you got fire rate gas usage gas uh, generator is on and is on so that basically means is on is the trap on um, and I have everything commented I have uh, all the blueprints have a um, tooltip so as you can see here uh, sets the actor to ignore it runs that function inside of a uh, uh, inside the blueprint it, it runs that inside of a, a function so basically you don't want to set it up here you're going to be setting it up into wherever you would spawn the trap so let me give you a quick look at my npc and i'll show you because i'm spawning it in um, now if we scroll down here we can change everything right off the top so as you can see can spawn can he spawn anything if it's false he won't spawn anything if it's true he'll spawn whatever you make right here okay so like this trap actor you know if you want to make it the pistol give it a fire rate of 0.3 uh, let's see spawn effect zero uh, yeah the spawn effect is basically the gunshot and the rocket how it's attaching the particle effect um, basically that's what that is and you can add more you can add your own it's very customizable it's very easy and here's the particle effect of where it will spawn so you know if you wanted explosion you could do explosion or you could do gunshot we can do explosion first oops where'd my NPC go there it goes we can do uh, explosion first and here's the distance can fire so basically you can fire that far away and shoot somebody and the trace that the trap will basically detect the actor at so either one like you could have this distance can fire less and you can have this uh, trap trace more so basically it'll follow you around until you get within distance so let me do that right quick or actually hold on let's leave it at 3000 I'll spawn it and then I'll show you this guy he'll spawn up a gun and as you can see he's shooting every three seconds and you see how that effect is spawning there right so now if we come back in here let's change this to a thousand and see that gun will follow me until I get in distance and then once I'm in distance there's no helping me and then all three of them are going off now so if we do this we go back to the trap actor I mean the NPC sorry and then we put it on gunshot let's put this on point five and then we hit play and you can see how it's using the different effect and how it slowed down oh this one's shooting me too I was wondering what was going on <laughs> okay but that's that's basic uh, uh, basically how the NPCs work and they're all pretty easy here's my spawn actor I got going on it'll spawn that up and basically you're targeting yourself so target self yes 
is spawned, yes, and all this runs off of uh, inside of the uh, trap and the generator. And you want to mark these gin is on and is on, so that way when it's spawned up, it'll go. It, it'll start working right away, and you can't mess with it. Um, you can't interact with it like you can the other traps. So if I was to come in like this spawn... So I can't I can't interact with it. So that's why I did that so you couldn't interact with the uh um forget what I was saying. Sorry, it's early in the morning for me. I just woke up. I worked midnights. I didn't get to bed until 2:30. So I'm a little tired still. Anyways, uh everything's run off of uh basically one function. Okay? And that's its move function. And everything's run off there. Now, I can put all this in a behavior tree. I'm doing this in my own game that I'm messing with. And I'm sorry I'm not getting too close. I'm just not trying to have people see exactly what I'm doing. But I did want to give them a little, you know, like the simple move to actor and the spawning the actor. And then when you start firing, that's your trap. That's your trap being set off. So you come here to your traps, and here's my main trap set up. As you can see, we have all this. You can set weapon to fire. Timer event clears the fire weapon timer. Uh, switches the power on. This is where I say is spawned, and it gets all its checks, and it does its thing. And <coughs> sorry, um, I have two different checks for the fire weapon. One is the box trace, so one is doing the tracing to find the actor and then setting the actor to attack. And then we come back to fire turret, and this is where the actual gun or trap or weapon, whatever goes off. Uh, here is our effect spawner. So like I said, you can add more really easily. You just click another one. And then you would plug in the vector of where you want that effect to spawn at. But let's remove that. And then applies damage across the whole game. You can set the damage for each actor to be whatever you wanted it to be. And actually let me make this editable and expose it on spawn. There we go. And we'll do that. And then we'll come back to the NPC. And then I would come over here. And I have to bring it back up, don't I? Yep. Spawn actor from class. And then we make that our trap. Main trap BP. And then now we should have damage on it. Yeah, there we go. So I'll basically be pr promoting this to a variable. So each NPC, if you wanted them to spawn a trap, and you can make it to where it can only spawn so many. You know, and to do that, all you'd have to do is add an integer and say if this integer equals this, then do this. If it doesn't, then do that. And I might add that in there. Actually, I probably will add that in there for ease of use. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a basic rundown on everything that's going on. And um, this generator, this this everything that I have that we're working on or that I'm working on and then see I turn it off and I can't I can't do anything with that and that's a bug I'll be I'll be fixing that don't worry but it's not even a bug it's just not referencing it cuz you know when I shut off the generator it's supposed to clear it and I'm just not doing my last check to make sure I can't interact with those lights while the generator's off. It's not having power. You can't do nothing. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to show you guys that. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be looking forward to putting this on the marketplace here soon. Uh, if there's any ideas you guys kind of want to, uh, uh, or anything else you'd like to see in here that's not too terribly uh, crazy then let me know and I will try to get that in there and get it working uh, I plan on by the end of this week trying to put this up on the marketplace 
So it's either going to be from $4.99 to $9.99. I don't know exactly how the marketplace works. So I will be figuring that out. But until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Later.